Hello and welcome to Children's Liturgy. I'm Claire and I work with the Shrewsbury Youth Mission Team in the parish of St Maximum in Colby and Runcorn and St Philip Neri in Birkenhead and it's great to be with you again. Today is the third Sunday in Advent and as you can see we've changed our colours and our cloth because today is a special Sunday in Advent. It has its own name. It's called Gaudete Sunday. So we change from the purple to the rose colour so that it represents joy. So we're thinking about the joy of Jesus coming to us in at Christmas time today. So we'll light our candles on our Advent wreath and see if you can remember what each one was for. So the first one we lit in the first week of Advent was for hope. Can you remember what last week's was for? That was for love. And this week we light the rose candle on our wreath as it represents joy. And Gaudete means rejoicing. So we rejoice this Sunday and we prepare for Jesus coming to us. And we make the sign of the cross together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So how did you get on telling someone this week about Jesus coming or about the love of Jesus? Did you manage to do it? I hope you did. Was it easy or was it a little bit tricky? It's not always easy to tell others about Jesus, but when we do, we're sharing Jesus' love with them and helping them to get to know him better. This week we hear again about John the Baptist and we hear what he encourages people to do. So let's listen carefully as Linda reads our gospel for us to what, Joseph, what John the Baptist encourages people to do. Let's get ready to listen to our gospel as we make the sign of the cross on our heads, as we think about the words of God, on our lips as we speak the words of God and our hearts as we love the words of God. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The people listened to John the Baptist's words and asked him, What must we do? John told them, Be generous and kind and always ready to share whatever you have with others. To the tax collectors, he said, Take no more than you are owed. And to the soldiers, he said, force no one to give you what is not yours. Be content with what you already have. Now the people grew excited and many began to think that John might be the Messiah promised by God. But John told them, I only baptize you with water, but someone is coming who will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. He is filled with the power of God, and I am not good enough to undo his sandals. Just as the wheat and the chaff are separated at harvest time, he will separate the good from the bad. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So did you hear what John the Baptist was encouraging people to do? That's right. He was encouraging them to change their ways. He was encouraging them to stay sorry and do things better. He wanted them to be kinder to others, to be generous to others, to treat others with respect and treat others how they would want to be treated too. And that's something we can do too. As we prepare for Jesus coming, we can take the time to try and change our lives. Maybe we're not always as kind as we could be to others, Maybe we'd say things about others that we shouldn't. Maybe we don't make time to help others as much or we have to be told to do things lots and lots and lots. Have a think, is there something you could change in your life? Is there something you could change to make it better, to make it easier for you and to make it easier for others as well? Could you be kinder? Could you give something more to charity? Could you give people more time to do things? Could you be generous in different ways? Have a think of what you could try and do this week. 
John the Baptist also was telling people that someone was coming that would baptise them not just with water, but with the Holy Spirit. Who was coming? That's right, Jesus was coming. He would be able to baptise them with the Holy Spirit. And when we were baptised, we were filled with the Holy Spirit too. And it's our job to go out and share that Holy Spirit with others and to share that love of Jesus with others, just as we were saying last week. So have a think, how are you going to change this week? How are you going to share that Holy Spirit with others during this season of Advent? To remind us of John the Baptist baptising with water, we're going to make our own water droplet today. And we're going to add on part of the gospel reading we heard so that we can remember it and try and do the right things. So all you'll need today is a piece of paper and some pens and scissors. So I've chosen to use some blue paper. You could use white paper, then color it in if you wanted to. I'm gonna use some blue paper. So I'm just gonna draw my water drop. And I'm gonna use this one I've already made as a template. This is nice and simple. Let's just draw around it. Back up to the top. And then, nice and simply, let's cut it out. When we were baptised and filled with the Holy Spirit, we know that the Holy Spirit will be with us always to guide us, care for us, comfort us, and to help us choose the right path. So to remind us of what John the Baptist said, we're going to write it on the front of our water drop. So John said, I baptize you with water. But someone is coming who will baptize you Holy Spirit, no, Holy Spirit in big capital letters because it's really important. And then if you get your hole punch, you can hole punch the top. You've got somewhere to put your string. And if you want to, you could add some decoration around the side. Before adding your string and hanging it on your tree. Where are you hanging yours? Are you hanging them on your Christmas tree or have you got a special tree to hang all these on? So there's our water droplet to remind us of John the Baptist baptising with water, but knowing that someone greater is coming to baptise with the Holy Spirit. And that's the Holy Spirit we are all filled with too when we are baptised. So you can hang that on your tree to remind you of that story too. So now we've got on our tree, the sun, moon and stars to remind us to be prepared for Jesus' coming. We've got the dove to remind us of the Holy Spirit filling John the Baptist so that he can tell others to prepare the way for Jesus. We've got our water droplet to show that John the Baptist baptised with water but knew someone else was coming, someone greater than he is, to baptise with the Holy Spirit. So let us end with our prayer. Loving Father, you filled John the Baptist with the Holy Spirit to encourage others to change their ways. Help us to change our ways during this season of Advent to help others to be generous and kind and show your love to everyone we meet. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's been great to be with you again, as always, and we love to see the pictures. So please do send your pictures into the Shrewsbury Youth Team email, or you can tag us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, and we can share them with everybody else. So it's been great to be with you again, and I'll see you next time. Bye.